Hey guys. So I asked a few weeks ago what type of content that you wanted to see more of here on Instagram. And a lot of you had said more vegan and vegetarian options. So I was going to show you today kind of like what has become a staple in my regular meal making. For those of you who don't know me, I have been a vegetarian for about four years and my fiance is a marathon runner and he recently watched a documentary about athlete performance on a vegan diet and so we actually switched to a vegan lifestyle in January as he prepared for um, an upcoming marathon that he was supposed to run in March but unfortunately got canceled uh, so we're right now we we scaled back the vegan a little bit um, for like eggs and honey um, but meat is really um, out of our diet completely so I stumbled upon a recipe on Pinterest for a vegan bolognese sauce and I've literally taken the part of that recipe and put it in a bunch of other things and it's honestly become kind of my saving grace I wish I had um, thought of it sooner <laughs> uh, but basically if you haven't already tried uh, chickpeas for a meat substitute that is what we're gonna do today and when I say meat substitute I don't mean that it's going to taste like meat I don't mean that it has the same texture as meat it's just kind of a nice addition to have on your plate um, you know one extra thing a little bit of protein that kind of stuff to, to fill you up a little bit so the bolognese which is actually what I'm making today so I'm gonna show you but um, everything else like I've used it with it's basically just marinating it in fl a flavor and then we're going to roast it to um, just kind of take on a different texture so right now um, I'm gonna put this in the here and it's a 15 ounce can for the bolognese and usually I add like mushrooms and sauce so I probably could get away with like three or four servings for the other things um, that I've used the roasted chickpeas for um, probably about two uh, two servings for the 15 ounce can so for the regular roasted chickpeas more Italian style it's one 15 ounce can and then you're gonna put in about a tablespoon of olive oil I have no tablespoons down here, but I have uh, a garlic infused olive oil that my mom got me from back home in New York. So I'm gonna put that in here, and then this Rachel Ray Italian seasoning. So if you have parsley, basil, oregano, any of that stuff, oops, <laughs> you'll um, that's what you'll put in here, and kind of just mix it. I would say maybe if you wanted to do like a total of a tablespoon of like all three combined. And then you'll just kind of mix it together. If you are not vegan, you can also add in Parmesan cheese. If you are, I have made the vegan version with uh, cashews. It's actually really good. We're going to do that. Um, so it's really simple. I mean, honestly, like that's it. And then I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour in the fridge just to kind of like soak up the flavor. But after that, you're gonna set your oven to 375 degrees. You're going to put these on a, a baking pan. I usually do tin foil and then spray it so it doesn't stick. And then I stick it in the oven. It says 20 to 25 minutes. 20 is the sweet spot in my oven. Uh, I probably rustle them around about halfway through and then I'll add them into my sauce. For other suggestions, if you want them, I have used the chickpeas in my chili. I have put them in here with chili powder, paprika, mix them together, same thing, 375 for 20 minutes in the oven. I have just did a Caribbean rice bowl where I put the chickpeas in with honey, teriyaki sauce, an orange marmalade marinade, and a little sriracha, mix them together, same thing, threw them in the oven. We did a barbecue pizza so barbecue sauce and then a tacos not a tacos tacos i will usually like put the taco seasoning mix them together let them marinate a little bit and then stick them in the oven and that's it so it's 
really, really easy. I'm not a huge fan of chickpeas just out of the can. So I love the roasted flavor um, that it gives. It takes on pretty much anything that you'll marinate it with. It's easy, 20 minutes and it's done and you just have something a little bit extra. So there's my tip for you guys on, uh, you know, if you have recently taken meat out or again, like I said, if you just want something extra on your plate.